What up, guys? Um, we took out some of the stuff that was inside the pond. You really fit a lot in this little two, three foot pond. Here's my new pump. It's in there. Here's a picture of the box. Just a basic little pump. You know, just basic. And there, pond pump, water feature. 800 GPH, fits tubing size, pound, up to 800 gallons, water features. Not bad, not bad. It's got a little screen on it so it don't suck my fishes. This is what I had to make last time. That was one of the pumps, but that's real weak. And then I, this is another pump I had. That just died finally here for like 10 years. That was a good pump. I don't know where I got it. I think a swimming pool. And then I had this one. It's like a box. It's like one from uh, Petmart, and it works, but it's not that great. It's got a little stream, and if it does suck up dirt and everything, you gotta keep cleaning that out. It's a pain. Now me, I am taking taking the pond apart because my old line, my old wire, is underground. Now I got a new tube for the line to get through. I already got the new pump in. I fed the line through. I used these sticks for snow plowing to feed it through. I just zip tied it to the end of the cord and then pushed it through and then used the other one to push it more. And then it popped right through. Um, another, here's some bricks. So I gotta get all these bricks off and then get my pump, the old pump out. I could just cut it, but then there's a, a wire that nobody knows what it's the plug goes to, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna dig it up. And then I want I gotta get the new one in the ground anyway, so might as well keep the seam hole dug. And I got an outlet right by it, by my bikes. So that's the best solution, you can put it in a PCB pipe. I I like to do this. I gotta do it with a um blue, but see how I color the ends? This is so when you gotta plug it in you know what it is, a pump. I didn't have blue but I wanna go get blue from the store now. So you know, oh, this is a pom pom. It's not the outside lights or you know something else, a compressor, or whatever you use. Um, yeah. So wish me luck. But this is how I filter my pond. I got a lot of fishies right now. It's really dark, but I got a filter, like a just filters, and then I sit the the regular pump on top of that, right on top. So, it's got to swim through them filters first before it hits my pump. Then, once it gets through the pump, it goes up here. This is just because I want to put them back on the, under the rocks. And then it goes through this filter system, I mean. It's just a whole big thing, and it's a big tub. And then, that's my waterfall. So, I just got that packed with all filters. So, that literally settles in there, the water, like... It settles in there, and then this will actually catch the stuff as it's like the thick stuff down the bottom, and then the higher filter. It's easy. Anyway, it saves a lot. That's great because I don't have to mess with the pump or anything. I just take them filters out, put them down on the hose, put them back in. You know, it takes me about an hour, maybe two. And it's really good for your flowers. Really good. So, if you got figs and stuff or fruits, you know, put the palm. Clean the pond filters over your over your compost pile or over your um, what's it called over your garden. The fish oils and the fish poop is really good for the um, soil. Yeah. So, all right. I just want to show you my little mission I had going on. Thanks for watching, and I'll try to take another video when I'm done. Thanks, guys. Bye.